What is going on, guys, and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me here on the Nerd Parade Gym Raj. That's two parts garage, one part gym, and it's where I do all of my exercising. You may be familiar with Nerd Parade for things such as Let's Plays on different types of games, but I'm going to be doing a spin on that here, and that's called Let's Lift. Let's Lift is a fun way for me to share another passion of mine besides gaming, and it's weightlifting and exercise and living healthy. A gamer's guide to getting healthy, fit, or even ripped if you would like to dedicate yourself to it. Now, what I'm going to do on Let's Lift is try to offer you guys tips, tricks, uh, show you how to do different types of movesets in order for you to either duplicate them or use them at your leisure in order to live a healthier lifestyle. I am Nick, this is Nerd Parade, and I need you to hit that subscribe button for me. Also, ding the bell so you don't miss any of the Nerd Parade episodes coming your way, whether they be Let's Plays or Let's Lifts. So this is the second instance of Let's Lift, and the one that I did previous to this was chest, shoulders, and triceps. I'm following a new program. I just started it yesterday and we recorded that. Uh, and this program is called Super Shredded 8 uh, by Dr. Jim Stepani. I've done many of his programs in the past that I like them a lot. Uh, and in fact, he has a full line of supplements. And I mentioned this in the last video as well. I get this question commonly, what type of supplements do you take? And I have the, uh, the pre-workout right here. It's called JYM and I take the entire line. Don't worry, as Let's Lift progresses, I'm gonna do specific dedicated videos to supplements, uh, dieting, because it's not just all about the gym and exercising. It's a big pie graph. This is a hand puppet version of a pie graph of things working in tandem together and kind of all about synergy. Bodybuilding is a pretty amazing sport in the sense that your successes are all measured by your failures. So. You want to do things such as train to the point where you can't do another rep. And I'll talk more about that as well in future episodes. But what we're doing now and how we're kind of jumping into the Let's Play series, so that or the, I'm sorry, the Let's Lift series, so it'll become a tool that you guys can use. So today is the dreaded leg day. I'm going to be showing you a couple of exercises from this workout that focuses on legs and uh, some of those more notably are going to be like the front squats, the deadlift, the, uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the unassisted Smith machine to show you a squat modification that I'm gonna use so that I can uh, put a little bit more weight on my, my quadriceps and we'll go from there. So hopefully these tips will be helpful to you, not only getting started out, but uh, avoiding injury in the future. So be sure to ding that thumbs up button for me that you're excited to learn some new things and let's lift. So first up, I'm gonna do a uh, front squat and then superset it with a squat. Now, I'm gonna do the front squat away from the uh, unassisted Smith machine, and I'm gonna do the squat on the Smith machine, which is going to be slightly modified. So what I'm gonna be showing you here today is a technique that's gonna be useful for front squats, and you can use either an Olympic-sized bar, or I'm gonna actually use one of the wavy slash easy bars and show you a neat little trick that you could do with some uh, some wrist wrap grips. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you a modification for the unassisted Smith machine that will put more weight on your quadriceps and you can use that machine as well. Uh, leg day is not my favorite day because I lack a lot of mobility and I feel like legs are one of my weaker muscle groups. So my main focus is taxing my muscles as much as I can all the while not hurting myself is a big, a big important factor. So I'm gonna to try to share that philosophy with you guys here today in what I'm doing. All right, so Let's Lift is done kind of in tandem with my workouts. I just finished my three supersets of leg exercises. So I'm gonna show you some of the hacks that I used that you could use at the gym to help yourself. Now, the first thing, the first exercise was front squats. Now you can do this with wrist wraps or this guy right here for the uh, rubber exercise cables. So basically what we're trying to do is create a handle on this bar that we can hang on to as we squat. So I'm going to rewrap this through here. We want to rest this, I'm doing it with the easy bar, we want to rest this easy bar right here on the top part of our chest. So I'm going to pick this up, I'm going to rest it here, and we've got these little handle wraps that we've created for ourselves. 
now it's going to be a lot easier for us to hold this bar up. You could do this with any type of wrist wrap or really any kind of strap to give yourself some extra grip. So now we have this in spot, we're just going to do our squats. So that right there can be a handy way to do front squats. I prefer to do it with the easy bar. Uh, you can do it with the full Olympic sized bar, but I just don't have enough room here in my gym garage to pull that off. The easy bar works just fine, and the waves kind of makes it fit oh so nicely against my frame. You know, it's all about that uh, comfortability. Our next tip, trick, or hack is going to be used with the Smith machine, and specifically with Smith machine squats. Usually squats uh, are performed on a power rack of sorts with uh, no form of guiding movement at all. The, the only thing you need to do is focus on keeping your back straight, kind of a, keep your spine aligned. You don't want to bend over and hurt yourself. But on the Smith machine, since you're basically riding the rails up and down, your range of motion and movement is pretty controlled. So the hack that we're going to use is we're going to keep our spine straight. We are going to rest the weight like we would in a normal squat position and then we're going to put our legs out in front of our body and then we're going to go down to about a 90 degree angle like we're sitting in a chair and then go back up the range of motion for this is reduced which is good for me and it puts a lot of pressure on your quadriceps uh, that way you can utilize the Smith machine to its maximum efficiency i'll show you now So there, our weight was kind of pushed a little bit backwards onto the bar, and we were going straight down to about 90 degrees with our leg, and then back up. This, not, this isn't putting ourselves directly under the bar with a Smith machine, because if we go straight down, we're gonna end up being like the hunchback of Notre Dame. The other way to do the, the squat is in the open, uh, like power rack, like I mentioned, but I'm working with uh, the Smith machine here in my gym garage, and this is a hack or modification to show you how to properly do it with a Smith machine. Okay, my next set, and the uh, last focus that we're gonna have for today's exercises on the dreaded leg day for Let's Lift is the, uh, the deadlift. Now this is a staple exercise. Um, squats, bench press, deadlift. These are like the staple exercises that every, uh, every bodybuilder will tell you that you need to do. Deadlifts are and can be a challenging exercise to do, and they're commonly done with an Olympic straight bar uh, and very heavy weight. Usually the grip is something like an over-under. You have the bar here and you let it ride, and you kind of sit down. It's like a squat in reverse. You sit down and you get back up. So my hack for you, my trick for you today, is to look for a specific item in the gym and one specific item that I actually ended up liking so much that I bought for my own uh, gym raj, and I always use it for a multitude of reasons which I'm going to get into now, and it's this guy behind me. This right here. Let me roll it back a little bit. This is known as a hex bar. You can use it for a multitude of exercises, including shrugs, which I love to do, but I like to use it for deadlifts. So usually with deadlifts, your grip plays a big factor in the lift. If your grip starts to fail, you're, gonna, you're not gonna be able to pull up the weight, and nine times out of 10, your grip is gonna give out before your legs will. So you'll see a lot of bodybuilders using hooks or straps to hold on to that weight, to keep it in that like front position with the over under grip, what have you. I prefer the hex bar because it keeps the weight in a neutral grip at your side. And while you should still use some kind of strap with it, especially when you're going heavier, the neutral grip, in my opinion, gives out a lot less frequently than the uh, front bound grip. So as I'm kind of catching my breath on my T-bone knee right here, I'm gonna show you what I was just doing with my hex bar for my deadlifts. And I would suggest for a beginner or anybody that might suffer from any type of back problems, utilize this hex bar if you see it at your gym or go as far as to grab one for your own home gym. 
So you stand in the center, grab on both sides, and perform your deadlift as you would normally. A squat in reverse. Sit on the chair, stand right up. Sit on the chair, stand right up. Sit on the chair, stand right up. And on shoulder days, do your shrugs. Okay, nerd paraders, this is where we are going to end this week's leg day and let's lift. Tips, tricks, hacks, whatever you want to say. A gamer's guide to getting healthy, fit, and ripped by your pal Nerd Parade. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Ding the bell icon for me so you get notified. Smash the thumbs up button for us. And by all means, comment any questions you may have. I'll do my best to help you out. Expect some dedicated videos in the future talking about nutrition, uh, dieting, such as intermittent fasting, uh, in case it fits your macros. I actually do those two together, macros and intermittent fasting. In my opinion, they are fantastic for both mass gaining and uh, cutting. You can put on mass and lose body fat at the same time, which a lot of people believe to be a myth. It's not a myth. It's true. You can't actually do it. Anyway, guys, smash the thumbs up button. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. Come hang out with me anytime. Take care of yourselves for now. Stay awesome. And we'll catch you in the next one as soon as I catch my breath. Later.